my guys. So if you remember, this spiked tree bat here. Let's go have a look at the actual tree. It's a spiky silk cotton. Oh. The button is stuck on taking photos. <laughs> okay. If you remember, it's a spiky silk cotton tree, and I just wanted to show you guys a big one of it and why they call it the silk or cotton tree. The, the wood's fairly soft, but have a look at this. You can see the seeds up here. If I can get zoom in, you see how they're like real fluffy. And they have these big pods like avocados, but they're not avocados. Yeah, sorry, but the phone won't stop taking pictures. <laughs> but here's the seeds anyway. You can see it's exactly just like cotton. So you can see up there the, the seed pods there hanging and then some fluff hanging off there. And that's the same tree. Just really large. It's like it's, it feels like cotton and everything. It feels like I'm touching a sheep, sheep bull, actually. It feels maybe a little bit thicker than um, cotton even. So, you know, you could use that as down. Hey, I'll go. <laughs> you could use that as a uh, down jacket type of down jumper material, you know, like uh, if it was really cold out here and this was not a camping ground and I was just staying in nature. I could uh, collect those up. It'd be a hard time climbing the tree with the spikes. <laughs> what you could do is make yourself a rope harness, swing over a rope and pull yourself up. But uh, yeah, that's the same tree as this one, which was just a smaller tree. And that was the bottom of the tree here that I made this bat out of by removing the spikes here and uh, you can see now this is a bat so yeah that's just how that tree works and you can also use it for uh, you know insulation <laughs>